I would say before uh, I started doing investigations in my classroom, it was more, I think, teacher-led mm -hmm. and teaching a skill. The kids went off and you know would master it and we would move on. It was a very digital classroom where I would teach a lesson and then the students would go online and they would work on 10 marks and it was all digital. So our students are extremely hands-on with the math program. They're asking each other those how and why questions. They're manipulating things. They're discovering things. Um, it's just a different atmosphere in the classroom where the kids are excited about their problems and how to solve them. And the discussion is a big piece. That's what's changed, I think, drastically mm -hmm. in our room. And the excitement for math. Yeah. When we say, or when we let them know that it's, you know, it's time for math, the kids are much more excited. Um, my classroom has become a lot more collaborative. There is a lot more math conversation. Um, there's a lot more of students excited to share how they solved a problem and another student jumping in and saying, I did it a different way. Rather than the teacher posing the question that this is what we're going to learn today, you know, the student ends up through exploration finding out the answer to the question that's posed. They're in the driver's seat. They're definitely driving the instruction, um, guiding me on where we need to go next. It's so amazing to see what they come up with um, before I can even think that they're ready for that concept. When we throw out a question or when they have a question, they explore it through manipulatives and they come up with solutions and then they build on each other. Um, students realize that there's more than one way to solve a problem. So they're taking strategies that they've learned previously and applying them. They are thinking so deeply about the process. They're not just solve, reading a problem and solving it. They're really thinking about why they're choosing a certain strategy and how they're doing it. I think they're, get, they're gaining a better sense of number, you know, as they work through their problem and they share their strategies. And they're becoming exposed to different strategies that they're getting a better understanding of how numbers work. And there's also excitement with them when they've only known one strategy and it doesn't work for them. And now they've learned other strategies that do, mm -hmm. that they're now able to solve a problem and be successful. Um, changing math programs was appropriate for elementary school children because they need to know the, the, the math sense behind it. And when you're studying and you're memorizing, there's that opportunity to forget. And their confidence level has definitely, right. you know, skyrocketed yeah. and, you know, they're proud of themselves that they're able to either write or talk about how they came to their solution. We've had different programs for different grade levels. Fourth and fifth grade would use one program, the primary grades would use another. So with investigations being kindergarten through fifth grade, we are developing consistency with understanding math. The students are given um, a lot of opportunity in the classroom to have a math workshop time, where we call them math stations. But within those stations, sometimes it could be individual work, it could be partner, group work, and it really just gives them the opportunity to enhance some of their skills or strategies that they've been working on. I see that they're more willing to help each other and say like, oh, I use this strategy. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, during a quiz or a test, it's almost difficult to get them to stop collaborating because they're so used to that now. Investigations really is collaboration. 